from my living room to yours, this is Buff Hussy. Welcome, y'all. My name is Debbie Shadani. From my living room to yours, this is Buff Hussy. Welcome, y'all. My name is Debbie Shadani. Oh my gosh. Welcome to your Groundhog Day workout. I'm so excited for this workout because I did just watch Groundhog Day, and yes, we are going to be doing repetitions today in different forms. We are going to get a full body workout that really just brings a lot of energy to your calves, to your inner marmot, you know. So what you're going to need for today is a mat. You're going to need a blanket and you're going to need two weights, something that you can do some rows with to warm up. Um, we're going to be doing exercises for about... Um, we're going to be doing exercises in different ways. This is about a 20, 25 minute workout. So uh, you can look forward to that. We're going to start our warm up on the mat and grab your blanket with me. Here we go. Blanket onto the floor. And we're going to start off. Oh, and there's a great playlist. I made a 30 minute uh, Groundhog Day playlist. It does have some of the soundtrack. So whatever music you want to play, go ahead and start playing it. In 10 seconds, we're going to start. Grab your weights, and we're going to do a row with some glutes. Knees on the blanket. Nice tabletop position here. I want you to give me one nice pull. Exhale your way up. I want you to give me one fire hydrant. Other fire hydrant. And nice pull. That's one. Let's go up to two. Two rows. Exhale. Exhale. Good. Fire hydrant. Two. And... Other fire hydrant, two. And let's do it. One, two. All right, let's go for three. One, two, three. Give me three fire hydrants. One, two, three. Other side. And one, two, three. All right, feeling pretty good here. Go for your four. You can tell what we're doing. We're building with our repetitions, just like Bill Murray did as Phil in Punk Satani. Let's do that other side. Are we going to lose count? We'll see, Audrey. We will see. All right. Two, three, four. Let's go for our five. One, two, three. Nice strong core. Four, five. Here we go on that other side. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go for six and give me a roll this time instead. Three, two, one. Give me a roll out and up here. Six, five, four. We're gonna be doing some squats that will be very happy about this. Two, one, other side. Six, five, four, three, two, one, let's go for that six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Let's go back down now. Going for our five, five, four, a little faster. Three, two, one, and go. Five, four, three, two, one, and other side. Five, four, Three, two, one, quick, four, exhale, three, two, one, four. You can't be bored already. You can be bored already, but it's a mindset, right? That's what we learn from Groundhog Day. It's a mindset, an acceptance of what you do. Keep really nice form here as you go through your four. Three, two, one, two, one, here we are in three,
an epic love story, just one of the tri one of the most unique love stories I've seen, Groundhog Day between Phil and Rita. All right, and another one that's not a spoiler, the two, three. And if you haven't seen it, it came out in 1993. We're on two. So you had 28 years to see this film. I did an extra bonus one. Let's do two, 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 two. Give me one. Give me one. Give me some. Give me one. And put those weights off to the side. Excellent job, everyone. Whew. Shake it out. Arms feeling nice and good. And give me a nice hip roll. We're gonna start off with our circuit. This has all of the good squirrels. Groundhogs known as woodchucks or whistle pigs. More to come on that. Move your weights off to the side. Okay, I'm gonna show you what to expect for these. So the first exercise we're gonna be doing, it's sort of a nice yoga circuit. We're gonna be doing what I call a dive and gopher. You're gonna bring yourself down and you're gonna come into your knees, scoop your chin, lift up into your cobra stretch, bring yourself back and then bring yourself to your downward facing dog. So knees, scoop and back up, all right? And then we're gonna go into another exercise. Go for booty. We'll give you a squat and a push, squat and a push. One of the hardest ones, the emergence from our long slumber and hibernation, we come up. So notice I roll, I took my chin, nice round C. Oh, you use your arms if you need to, you push all the way up. If that feels too difficult for you, you'll grab one of your weights and you'll give me a nice chop to the side, a wood chop chop. And our last one is the escape from your shadow, the Eskandasana, drop yourself and we're gonna do a couple of skandasanas, okay? So that's what we have to look forward to. Um, we're gonna start it off. Here we go, in three, two, one. Go into your down diving gopher. Lift and up. We're doing three rounds, 30 seconds each. We enter into listening to some deja vu by Olivia Rodrigo, a very appropriate Groundhog Day workout exercise song. Go for a button, here we go. Come up to standing. Stepping your feet forward and all the way up. Down, nice squat, give me a booty. I can't gophers have nice butts too. Boom, boom, 30 seconds. First round of three, you know I'm taking it easy. Feeling every nook and cranny that I have between my knees, my hips. In three seconds, we do our emergence or our wood chops. Here we go. Roll yourself down. I like the fluidity of this. Use your hand. Bring yourself back up. Roll. Emergence from the slumber. Exhale. Oh, 10 more seconds. Five seconds, we go into our Eskandasana, escape from the shadow, left leg back. Good, turn yourself, bend your left knee. Come up to standing, bend your right knee. Come up to standing, bend your left knee. Exhale, round your hands all the way down, come through plank, step your left foot forward, and then alternate, right leg. Bend left, checking out your booty. Good, coming back, pinwheel your hands and get ready because we flow into our dive and go for it. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Second round for our dive and go for it. Maybe you stay in downward facing dog. You scrape your chin down without bringing your knees down. Scraping your chin, bending your elbows, down dog to up dog, diving gopher. Exhale, inhale, on the way up. 
Come up to your gopher booty. Step your right leg forward, left leg forward, and give me some. Let's go slow on the way down, quick on the way up. You are in your pack, your family, and you see danger coming. What do you do? You whistle. You whistle on your way up, and that is why they're called whistle pigs. Go for your emergence right here. Bend your knees, roll back, roll forward, come all the way up. Good. Roll back, roll forward. If that feels too intense, and I know we're on our second round, but you could just roll right here. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Escape from your shadow, Eskandasana. Step your left leg back, left knee bends. Let's do three, two, one. Pinwheel the hands, plank pose, left foot forward, and go for three. Bend left, two, one. Pinwheel your hands, plank pose, right leg forward. You like that? Because I do. I like this fluidity from thing to thing to thing. I feel like animals, they get it. All right, let's do last one. Meet and go in our down dog, in our gopher. Pinwheel the hand and come back. Ready? We do our third round, take a breather here. Three, two, one, let's go. Your choice, knees down or not. A lot of pressure on the shoulders. So if you feel you have those warm, strong shoulders, join me here. Otherwise to remind you knees down, lift. Three seconds, go for butt in three, two, one. Step your left foot forward, right leg forward. Come all the way up, slow on the way down. Squeeze, squeeze. These are doja cat gophers, you know? These are getting into some Beyonce gopher, groundhog day type of thing. These are all animals that are related. The large ground squirrel. Large booty ground squirrel. We go for our emergence in three, two, one. Emergence down. And roll, I'm gonna add a jump here, down. And roll. Long hibernation. Exhale. Less than 10 seconds to go. Escape your shadow is next. Iskandasana. Three, two, one. Come all the way up. Left leg back. Go three, two. I'm gonna add something crazy, a little handstand. Pinwheel, handstand, switch. Whew. Good, bend. <laughs> a little handstand kick. Doesn't have to look pretty. Let's hope. <sighs> Last one. And come up to standing, y'all. Great job. So your body's feeling warm and toasty. In 20 seconds, we do our high intensity portion of this. This is gonna be five minutes, 20 seconds on. Whew, 20 seconds off. Those, those will get you. We're gonna do some burpees for 20 seconds, I know, but it's a very emergent type of movement. And we're gonna do some marmot calf raises. You ready? Three, two, one. Let's get down for burpees. You know them, you love them. Step forward, no jump on the way up or jump your choice. Any wrist issues, stick to your squats. Any knee issues, stick to staying down here. Come up to standing wherever you are and give me your marmot calf raises. Oh yeah. There's that, you know, the tier of like genus species, all of those. So 
Marmot is the lowest. It's the most fundamental. Burpees coming up. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. It's quick. 10 seconds. And come up, rest in your calf raises. Lift. I feel like they just look so cute. And then skiridrol. There's going to be someone who's like, what are you saying? Skiridrol is like two up. And that's the squirrel family. Three burpees and two. One, go. Three, two, one, good. Marmot, calf raises, active recovery. Oh, hands all the way out. 10 seconds. Burpees in three, two, one, go. We got the onset stage up. Her version. Giving you that repetition. Come on up and active recovery here. Love to see it all the way perched on your prairie. Five seconds, we go for our burpees. This may or may not be our last time. Three, two, one, go. You got this, come on. Three, here with you. Two, one, and okay, we do have a few more. Five minutes, eight rounds. Should have said that. Stay with me. Deep breath in, 10 seconds here. Couple more rounds of burpees, but it wouldn't be a good Groundhog Day without them. Three, two, one, go. Get aggressive like a groundhog. 10 seconds. Last one. And come up. All right, a little trivia for you. What does agnostic animal behavior mean? Three. Think about it. It's gonna surprise you, I gave a little bit of a hint. Means being aggressive. Who would have known? Ready, burpees, be agnostic. Five, four, three, two, one, come up. How's that working out for you? It's already not great for me. Heart in the chest, calves, toes, lower feet, feeling it. Burpees in three. We're almost there. Two, one, last round. Go. Three, two, one. We're getting one more bonus. And come up. Awesome job. Happy, happy Groundhog Day, everyone. Nice, nice, nice. Nice job, everyone. Happy, happy. I'm kidding. All right. Let's go down into our recovery, our cool down together. All right. Some of our very low grounded poses. We're going to start off with a dolphin pose. Curl your toes, exhale, and lift those hips high. Excellent job. Elbows and forearms are down. 
Deep breath in. Good work on the shoulders. That's why we're doing this. Your calves push the heels down to the floor, to the mat. Whew, knees down. Oh my gosh. Tabletop position. Look up to the sky, cat and cow. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You know what sort of groundhogs remind me of? There's all those animals. There's possums. There's a, uh, what is it? Um, uh, gophers, which are smaller. There's also otters. And I feel like a swimming otter here. Lift your chest up, bring your belly down. If you can, bend your knees. Let's go to a bowed otter. Deep breath in. Exhale. Lift up the heels. Lift up the chest and heart. You got it. Oh, exhale it back down. Give me one more of those. Really nice for your back. Deep breath in. If you can, grab your ankles. If not, just reach. Woodland squat coming up in 10. And exhale, push. Tabletop position. Right leg forward. Left leg forward. Come all the way up. Deep breath in. Actively with your, not just your elbows, with your legs, inner squeezing thigh muscles, push out. Nice. Left hand down, right hand high. You can bring that hand behind you. You can go for a little bitty bind. Mm. Oh man, the feet, right hand down, left hand high. All right, oh, and lower it all the way down to the floor. Wide-legged, this will be our last uh, seated pose here. Go over to the right side. Oh, my feet, right? Nice job, everyone. If you felt good, maybe this voice to men will Make it feel even better. Other side. Good. Open up the chest, take a deep breath in. There are times where my life might get repetitive, but it's our job to find the nuance in each one and what we would like to do with every day that we have. You're making the most out of it. We're gonna go into a shoulder stand to plow. Bring yourself back together. How is your shoulder stand? If it's non-existent today, just lengthen those legs all the way up. If it is, roll your hips into your hands. Push. Flex those feet. Point the toes. Flex. Point. Flex. You're strong. You're beautiful. Flex those feet and come over for plow pose. Let's take three deep breaths here. Bend your knees, plow ball. Slowly roll your hips away. Bring your knees out wide and pull. A sort of happy baby here for 10 seconds. And you know what's coming up next? Our hibernation. Three, two, four. Lengthen those legs out for Shavasana. Take a deep breath in here. And exhale to let it all go. Steady, deep breaths, slowing the body down as if it were in its own hibernation. Your time begins to slow like molasses. Deep breath in, deep breath out. 
Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Bend your knees and roll yourself onto your left side. Roll yourself all the way up to a seated position. Very, very nice job on your Groundhog Day. I look forward to seeing if it is more winter or spring, but whatever we do, I know we'll be here on our mats and living room next week. So I'm joyous for that. Thank you so much. My name is Debbie Shadani. Have a lovely rest of your Groundhog Day. And we done. Cool. Little marmot. Bye, y'all. Thanks so much for tuning in.